On January 29, 2023, the former president of the Institute of Creation Research, John D. Morris, at the age of 76, went home to be with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Morris was a Christian, a scientist, and a creationist. I had the privilege of being in the same room with John Morris at a creationist conference. I didn't know at the time who he was. I did know his brother. Uh, I had dinner with his brother, Henry Morris III, but I didn't even know John Morris existed. But I distinctly remember passing um, this distinguished looking gentleman in the lobby. And I was so struck by the impression I had of him as he was talking with another gentleman. I said, I asked, began asking around, who's that gentleman? And they said, that's John Morris. And I said, that's, I didn't, that's Henry Morris's son. I didn't even know he had another son. Henry Morris is the founder of the Institute of Creation Research. And so that was my one encounter with John Morris. I will never forget it. He had um, just that distinguished look uh, about him. And I said, I know this guy is someone very, very special. I'm trusting that I will see him one day and get to say hi to him. There was a memorial service, which is available online, uh, the recording of which is available online. And I'll provide that in the video description. In that memorial service, a video clip was shared of his, of a dramatization, of a dramatization of his marriage proposal to his eventual wife. Now, this is played at the memorial service, and since this recording is taken from the memorial service, you'll hear, I think, even the attendees of the memorial service uh, laugh at some of the scenes. And this is a beautiful thing that in the midst of this morn of this uh, time of mourning, there's also celebration and laughter of what a beautiful life he lived. To help understand the video clip a little better, let me explain and point out a few things. Dr. Morris was on Mount Ararat. He was struck by lightning and then paralyzed for several hours and that will be mentioned in the video clip. Also, he had multiple sclerosis, which weighed heavily on his decision whether to marry or not to marry. So with that background, I now share with you this heartwarming and touching and inspiring video clip of a Christian marriage proposal. In 1977, I married my dear wife, Dalta, and uh, she has been such a, uh, an adventure, but a, a blessing to me. She goes with me to Mount St. Helens. She goes with me to Grand Canyon. She hadn't been to Mount Ararat yet, but she's, she, I've, I've spoken all over the world, and she goes with me. We go to, to communist countries. We go to places, and um, she goes, oh, we've got stories to tell, but um, she's been with me. She's been supportive. She's been encouraging me in all these ways. <laughs> you should have seen their faces when I got to the part about being hit by lightning. <laughs> That's always a crowd pleaser. I know. I don't know, don't know why it is. and just lying there in the snow. I was paralyzed. I thought that I was going to die. Praise me. Praise me. 
all the blessings that are in your life. Praise me. I am. Um, I love you, Dalton. Yes. And I love you. Yes. There's nothing that I would like more than to. But, but, I don't know what's going to happen with my MS. John, I... It's, it's, it's bleak. I could be in a wheelchair in a year or so. I could get so bad that I couldn't provide for you or, or, or raise kids. I could have massive complications and have a very short and painful life. And? And? But did you ask me what I want? Or what I think? I thought that you would... Are, are you breaking up with me or asking me to marry you? I, I, I don't know. It, it, it wouldn't be fair for me to ask you to take care of me like that. John D. Morris, no one is guaranteed a carefree life. No one is guaranteed tomorrow or even the next five seconds. So if God has given you the grace to get this far, then he will give us the grace to make this work. What about kids? Yes, I want to have children. God willing, we will. They will be amazing children. And we will have a happy life. If. If we trust God. You know when I knew there was something special about you? Soon after I met you, you quoted Romans 8, 26 through 28. <laughs> and you said that even if God never heals you, that you are in his perfect will and he will use you for his glory, even in your weakness. I, um, I don't usually use Romans as a pick of lines. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, hey, if it works. So I guess, I guess we should do something about our relationship. <laughs> I was thinking a fall wedding. Hmm? I love fall. Me too. I love you. I love you too.